Occupational English test. Listening test. This test has three parts. In each part, you'll hear a number of different extracts. At the start of each extract, you'll hear this sound. You'll have time to read the questions before you hear each extract, and you'll hear each extract once only. Complete your answers as you listen. At the end of the test, You'll have two minutes to check your answers. Part A. In this part of the test, you'll hear two different extracts. In each extract, a health professional is talking to a patient. For questions 1 to 24, complete the notes with information you hear. Now look at the notes for extract 1. Extract 1. Questions 1 to 12. For questions 1 to 12, complete the notes with a word or short phrase. You now have 30 seconds to look at the notes. Hello there. Um, it must be Martin, is that right? That's yeah. Martin, yeah. yeah. And uh, Martin's dad? I'm Martin's yeah. dad, yeah. Good. OK, well, I'm, I'm Dr Baker. I, well, how can I help you both today? Right, shall I tell him? Yeah. Yeah, well, he's been... Uh, about two weeks now, he's been getting uh, tummy pains, you know? Uh, and uh, he's yeah. been off school with it, so I'm worried. Uh, sure. There might be a little bit, something a little bit more than just, uh, you know... Just the normal time, something a bit more than just a normal tummy pain. You know, yeah. it could be, yeah. oh, I don't know, but you know, it might be yeah. something else. You hear about it, don't you? you sure, know. sure. It could okay. be. I mean, it's 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 not been a problem uh, him being off school because uh, I lost my job a while back, so right. I'm actually sort of you know at home quite a bit now. So you know, it, yeah. it's 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 that's been okay, isn't it? It's not have to run around and try and find people to to, to sure. be with him. So that's just okay. a bit of a problem. Can I just ask you a few questions, Martin, about yeah. sort of what's happening and stuff at home and school? So just remind me, what school are you at now? Uh, Lady Bay. Lady Bay School, I know that well. Um, who's your form teacher there? Mr Pearson. Right, yes. I've got some other children to look after. Who's Mr Pearson's their form yeah. tutor. He's quite nice, is that right? Yeah. Good, good, good. And, um, I mean, how's school going at the moment? It's going quite well. Going quite well, OK. And do you... Do you do any sort of hobbies or sports there? Football. Football. So you're into sort of football. Yeah. You probably support a team, do you? Yeah, Spurs. Spurs. Okay. All right. Never mind. Okay. Well. <laughs> um, so um, tell me a bit more about this, this this tummy pain you've been having then. Well, it's ki it's kind of really bad in the mornings, but it it kind of fades away and gets pretty much gone in the afternoon. Okay, and, and where where is it? Do you think you can sort of point to the rough area? Where it's it is? kind of in the middle, around my belly button. Around your belly button, is it? Yeah. Okay. And um, is is the pain? What's the pain like? Can you describe it? It's kind of like queasy pain. Okay, so it makes you feel a bit bit queasy, basically. Yeah. And do you have any? Does it cause you to feel anything else? Do you, do you ever throw up at all with it? No. No. And what about the other end? What about when you sort of have a do a number two? No, what about? That's fine. That's fine. No kind of diet. I, I know it's a bit embarrassing to talk about, and I've got sort of people look after your age and when you ask these questions. But often, you know, they can have problems sometimes when you do a poo and it's very hard and yeah. painful, or you have sort of quite loose. And no, I, no, it's not. Nothing like that at no. all. Then, so that's all okay. And um, you look a fairly good weight and height. There is it mm. sort of everything okay with the weight and yeah, not yes. losing weight or anything like that? No. Yeah. He, no? Eats, he eats well. He eats for two people sometimes. He can <laughs> Good. <laughs> Don't worry, yeah. sticks it all. Yeah. All right. Okay. And, uh, I mean, you're saying you had the pain in the mornings and also in the... but but not but better towards the end of the day. Yeah. Do you, do you get the pain every day? What, what well, about sort of weekends? Well, no, not on weekends. Every weekday, apart from Sundays in the week. Okay, so it tends to be just the weekdays. Mm. All right. Well, 
I wonder if it might be a good idea now, perhaps, if we could just examine your tummy, if that'd be all right. Because yeah. I think, if, if just, just clarifying other things, I mean, you, you don't normally come to the surgery, so you're otherwise well, aren't you? And I think the next yeah. step would be just to, if I could just sort of lay my hand on your tummy and, and, and just have a gentle feel there. We can do that on the couch over there and Dad can sort of sit next to you if that's all right. So should we do that mm -hmm. now and then? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay, okay, well, let's do that now then. Okay, well, the good news is I couldn't find anything to worry about there at all. Okay. Okay. Uh, everything good. seems good. seems fine. So perhaps, perhaps if I can just ask a little bit more about when the pain started, because it was about two weeks ago. That's right, yeah. Perhaps I can ask you, Martin, has anything happened two weeks ago or changed two weeks ago? That well, um, at school, um, we have a new PE teacher, Miss Croft. Right, and I've not heard of her. She must be new. So it, yeah. It, how, how, how's it been with her? Well, she's quite strict about trainers during PE, you know. Be not allowed to wear anything other than that, and yeah, so she's not particularly had a, nice. So she's not very nice to you if you don't wear your trainers, mm. and have you had a problem bringing your trainers yeah, in? Yeah, I've forgotten them. Okay, so does that cause a bit of upset at school then with her? Yeah. Doesn't sound like you both seem to get on. No. No. Mm. So what's happened with the trainers? Is that? Well, you keep them at school, don't you, in your yeah. in your bag? I mean, they're still there, or they? No, I lost them. You've lost them. Mm. Right. I didn't think you'd very, be very happy with that. Well, you know, <laughs> trainers. You know, trainers are trainers. If she'd said something about it. We could have sorted something out, couldn't we? But I thought you might argue about that. Well, because we haven't got much money at the moment. You know, me and Mum, we've had a, had a row yeah. about it. Don't be silly. That's just silly. We wouldn't, we wouldn't do that, would we? No, we have plenty of money to get you a new pair of trainers. You should have just said something. OK, sorry. Hmm. OK. I mean, sometimes I have, you know, so I look after sort of, you know, people um, at school your age, and sometimes when you sort of get stressed and things happen at school or home, you kind of get tummy aches and headaches. And I mean, it's... It's it's possible that that might be related, and that might explain a bit why you don't get mm. them on the weekends as well. Yeah, mm. no school at the weekend, is there? Yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah. Possible, is it? Yeah. Mm. Well, look. Can I suggest perhaps we see how things kind of go? Perhaps we'll yeah. get see if Dad will get some new trainers from Miss Miss Croft. <laughs> try and keep her happy, and then yeah. that'll hopefully make you a bit happier, and then we can perhaps see how things. Things go with the with the the abdominal, the tummy pain, mm. and if things aren't settling down, then come back and see me. All yeah. right. Okay. But yeah. fingers crossed. I think hopefully you know we we might see this this, this yeah. tummy pain go away. So. Yeah, I yeah. think so too. New Does that sound all right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Extract two, questions thirteen to twenty four. For questions 13 to 24, complete the notes with a word or short phrase. You now have 30 seconds to look at the notes. Mr. Reed? How are you? I'm good. I'm Kristen O'Brien. I'm the registered dietitian meeting with you today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You may call me Kristen. You can call me Nathan. Okay, great. Welcome. I hope traffic wasn't too bad getting over here. Not too bad. All right, great. So what brings you into my office today? Well, I want to take a look at my diet. I feel I can probably uh, tighten up a little bit in regards to the calories that I'm taking in on a daily basis. I know I go a little overboard in certain areas, um, so I kind of like your opinion on that, where I can cut back. Um, I've tried eating breakfast more often. In the past, I skipped breakfast, so I'm happy with that, but I might go overboard at lunch a little bit with snacks, okay. that type of thing. So I'd like your input on that, and uh, 
Hopefully you can give me some good advice and we can go from there. Okay. Are you trying to lose weight or? Yeah, I'd like to lose a few pounds, but it's just I'm, I'm hitting mid thirties now, and so I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to just be a little more healthy, a little more okay. health conscious. I sure. Guess. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So to get started, um, I'm going to ask you a few pieces of information just to get an idea of mm -hmm. what your diet history looks like, um, your c current food choices, and perhaps we can try to enhance those choices as well. Um, so looking at the past 24 hours, um, would you say yesterday was a typical day for you? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, it was a work day so uh, for me, so that's, I, t I tend to be very I guess regular on those days, yeah. Definitely <clears throat> on Saturdays and Sundays I mix it up a little bit more. There's probably more snacking or fast food a little more on the, on the weekends. Um, I brown bag it for lunch um, every work day. Mm -hmm. Uh, I try to eat breakfast at home, like I mentioned earlier, and I always have dinner at home. So, sure. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. to answer your question, yeah. Okay. Um, so, let's take a quick scan over the foods that you ate, beginning with the first thing that you ate yesterday, and um, we'll go from there. I had um, a total cereal with um, skim milk. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe I had, I think I had a half an English muffin as well with butter and uh, jelly. I try to get away from that, but I can't in the morning. Um, I did not have coffee at the house, although I did have a medium Dunkin' Donuts coffee on my commute in, which is very regular for me. I always have at least one Dunkin' Donuts coffee in the morning, sometimes that, plus coffee at home, but yes, that was just the one on the road. Okay. Um, now, about how much cereal, if you had to think, like, in regards to these? No, i definitely say it was like this. Okay. Yeah, definitely. The one cup. Alright. And about how much milk would you say? Um, probably half a cup. Okay. Um, and what time did you have, um, That meal? would have been probably seven. Okay. And was that, um, at home you said? That was at home. Okay. Alright. And what would you say that you had next during the day? Uh, like I said, I had the coffee on the way in, mm -hmm. which was a medium Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Um, I had a banana. Around 10.30, 11 o'clock. That's pretty normal for me. Um, and that was it until lunch, which was around 12.30, quarter of one. Okay. Um, and what did you have for lunch? At lunch, I had a uh, tuna sandwich on whole wheat bread. I had um, an individual pack of cheese it crackers, and chips, whatever those are, mm -hmm. uh, which were the reduced fat ones. And then I had a can of ginger ale. Okay. Um, and um, the tuna that was in your mm -hmm. sandwich, do you know yeah. um, about how much would you say, like, if you were to compare it to um, yeah. one of the cups? Probably a third. Okay. And was that with mayonnaise? Or yeah, it was with, um, um, what did I get? Hellman's, Hellman's real mayonnaise. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't one of the low fat ones. Okay. That's another thing I can't pull away from. Mm -hmm. um, and about how much mayonnaise would you say, perhaps? Now, when I made it, it was probably, it was a full can of tuna when I made it, although I didn't eat the full can. And I'd say it was probably less than a quarter of a cup. Okay. All right. And um, you said it was whole wheat bread, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what was the next thing that you had during the day? Uh, I think the next thing was I had a piece of pumpkin bread before I left work. It was a Friday, um, so I closed up work a little early. I closed up maybe around 3.30, so it might have been like 10 or 3. Okay. I had just a slice of pumpkin bread that I got out of the cafeteria. Uh, I have a pretty long commute home. Mm -hmm. On Fridays with traffic, and so I try to eat something quick so that I'm not snacking for the rest of the day. Okay. Um. That is the end of part A. Now look at part B.